everybody in bass fishing has thrown a Senko or knows what the Senko is about. Yeah. Gary Yamamoto actually created the Senko, but he didn't intend to even start a bait company. He was trying to make a bait like the Slugma. But he found out using the Senko as a finesse bait and it wobbles on the way down and fish flat out eat it. Right. And the, everybody can fish it. Absolutely. The name Senko came from his son. He was actually looking at the Japanese dictionary looking for a word named flat and he picked Senko. So, today me and Jim are going to bring you the Senko world. Yep, we're using four different companies. As you can see, here they are. You know, Strike King, Venom, Yamamoto, the original and um, the Maxent by Berkeley, the general. Uh, as you can also see, we don't get wrapped up in a, I don't get wrapped up in yep. a lot of colors. I keep it really simple. Uh, this is basically the box that I carry. So um, you see mostly all green pumpkins, the black one here, and then to my natural shad, that shouldn't be seen, but <laughs> that's the one I like to use on the Ohio River, fishing for spotted bass up under the barges and let the current float it up underneath. So uh, we're gonna show you how to we did different styles of rigging them. Yep. We're going to do it the hog trough here. Um, I'm going to be in there tossing them in. They're not going to get fit very much. The water temperature is pretty cold. And, um, but that's that's a good thing because now you can actually see the bait work the way it should because we're one of the few people that are able to get you underwater footage of it since I own the fish tanks. Yeah. And um, you can get a different perspective from it. Talk about perspective. What a... Not very many people are going to see the top, top of the hog trough. So, like Jim was saying, we're going to test all these baits. We're going to show you the ball rate of each bait, you know, how it's rigged and rigged better versus others, and how it shimmy. You know, Shimmy's the key. Shimmy is the key. So, we're going to test all four of these different baits, show you everything about it, see if any fish eat it, and then we can also dive into the wacky rig. You know, the wacky pool is what they call it. Um, how it's rigged on the Seco and if it affects the fall rate or if it affects the shimmy at all. Or affects the way the hook's in it and hooking fish or losing fish. Absolutely. So we're gonna dive into that right now. So come along and come join us. people use one. The problem with using one, what happens is, we'll, we'll show you how real quick. I'm going to grab you one of these ones. Here. Good. Take it, the wacky rig tool, you take it and you slide it down over top. There's your O-ring. My opinion, you take your hook and you hook this like this. Mind you that this O-ring is supposed to be in the center of the bait. Okay. So this O-ring's gonna be there. Take your hook through. Now it's like that. It's not cooperating. So it's like this. In my opinion, what happens is a bass can come up here and grab this. If he sucks this in and goes the opposite direction, what happens? It becomes weedless. You don't get a very good hook in. So what I like to do is I'm gonna take a the Berkeley General like we just had. I'm taking the wacky rig, take the first one, put your O-ring on. There's the first one. 
I am using two O-rings for this. So you get the second one, you want them to cross. The O-rings to cross. So you put this on here like this, take this and go at a diagonal and slide it up. Now they are crossed, okay? See how they're crossed? Now, you're gonna take your hook and you're going to go between the crosses. Like that. So now, look at it. Your hook is completely exposed. That fish, either way he bites it, doesn't get as much, it's not weedless as much. That hook is exposed, you hook up a lot more fish and you don't lose as much that way. Thanks for joining us. That was a little bit about Senkos and the way we set them up and fish them and rig them and stuff like that. Um, if there's any questions or anything, feel free to drop us a line. If there's any other things you'd like us to go over, gladly show them. Thank you and hopefully this puts an extra fish or two in your boat. They put two O-rings on it, okay? This one's gonna drop off. And the whole key, you got two of them on there. You want them to cross. You get them to cross. It's not the easiest. Us old guys, you gotta get the glasses out. <laughs> you get them to cross, and then you're gonna take your hook. It didn't cross. Oh, I just see that's the other thing. You'll tear your you can tear your worm that way too. Tore the worm, it's not working now. Come on.